process and how it worked on March 27, 1994. Uh, we'd had Doppler radar for a year. We had pretty good experience with it. And uh, the meteorologists on duty had decided that this supercell storm uh, warranted tornado warnings as a, as a uh, velocity couplet, a rotation within the thunderstorm developed. And they actually issued the warning 12 minutes before the tornado crossed into Cherokee County. And that's probably the biggest tragedy of the whole event, was the fact that the detection, the distribution of the warning was very, very good, but where the warning process fell down was that the people at Goshen United Methodist Church simply did not know the danger that was approaching their location. Do you think that uh, the people inside the church, would have, those that died, would have lived if they would have received the warning? It's very tough to speculate about that, but there's every evidence from the structure after the tornado had occurred that there were places people could have gone in that structure. The part that was destroyed the most heavily was where everybody was, the sanctuary. And that's why part of our tornado safety rules are to avoid large, wide, free-span roofs. If people had gone to the front of the church where there was a little uh, foyer, if they'd gone to the back part where the Sunday school rooms were, those sections of the church essentially stayed intact, yes, with damage, but they were not as completely destroyed as the sanctuary was. So there's every reason to believe that if the 142 people that were in the sanctuary had been able to move and had moved in a timely fashion in, into the, the Sunday school uh, area, that basically they probably all could have survived. Some injuries, very likely, since the roof was lost off that part of the structure too, but probably no deaths would have occurred. Perhaps the greatest tragedy of the Goshen tornado was the fact that there was an excellent warning for this storm, but the people inside the church never heard that warning. The National Weather Service issued a tornado warning for southern Cherokee County at 1127 on March 27, 1994. The building was destroyed 12 minutes later at 1139. Unfortunately today, many churches in Alabama do not have a good way of getting tornado warnings. The best way is a NOAA weather radio. One needs to be in every church in the state. 